cars at night They always look like yours Fading into an hell of street lights Cars at Sharing their life story, Judah and Miriam laughed about her first feelings of love for Judah at the tender age of 12, whilst he had the opposite thoughts of never wanting a girlfriend. Through the ebb and flow of time, God's higher plan for these two was revealed, and as young adults, they came together in love with an unbreakable foundation of friendship. It is said that relationships are tested most during the challenging times that inevitably occur on the journey of life. Miriam and Judah have already shown how they can support and be there for each other during times of adversity. They have demonstrated resilience and maintained their strong faith regardless of the challenges that life has presented. Doubtless, their love and respect for each other has grown throughout these times. Judah, I can't believe this day is finally here. I promise to choose you every day to always be on your side. I promise to support you in all the crazy times and to always help you be the best version of yourself. I promise to love you for better or worse, in sickness and in health, until death parts us or Jesus returns to this earth. Judah, you are the boy I had a crush on and now the man I am so deeply in love with and I think that God knew my heart needed you. I am so proud of how far you've come and what we've already achieved together. Your heart is beautiful and I'm so excited to build our life together, to have a family and to grow old and wrinkly side by side. You are my angel, my best friend and my biggest supporter. You feel like home to me, and I'm forever thankful for you. I love you with all my heart, and I can't wait for the next chapter of our lives to begin. <laughs> Miriam, you are the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I love your kind heart how you are so beautiful inside and out. Your blue eyes, lips, and how your smile can be like sunshine and, a bright, and brighten my whole day. 
You make me happier than I could ever imagine and feel more loved than I ever thought possible. I promise to love and care for you in every way and to always be worthy of your love. I will always be honest with you, kind, patient and forgiving. I promise to be true and loyal to you. I promise to be with you through hard times and good times, through sickness and health, till death parts us or Jesus returns to earth. I will grow old with you and never stop loving you. I will always be by your side for all the days of my life. absolutely no questioning the happiness that we all feel uh, on this occasion but like Sharon touched on in the ceremony and, and Steph alluded to um, we shouldn't leave the other things unsaid um, there's feelings of, of uh, grief and loss that Judah and Miriam and many of their family members and many of the bridal party are feeling today so I'd like to make my second toast uh, a toast of respect, a respect to the memory of um, Ryan Lace and James Arnold, who we wish could be with us today. My wish is that we'll use the hurt that we feel in their absence to drive us to cherish and value all of the friendships and relationship, uh, relationships we have around us moments like these we have today. So Judah and Miriam, look around at your friends and family here. We're so happy to see you guys. We're so happy to see the love you guys have for each other. And we wish you the absolute best for your future. And we want you to know that by our presence here, we're, pre we're pledging an unconditional offer of support and care for your journey together. The dreamers, the ones...